Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many budding Bash programmers encounter. Our viewer is curious about the best way to write a loop that reads from a file. They've come across two different methods and want to know which one is more common, if there are performance differences, and if there are even better alternatives for handling large files. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, going through some of the answers, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy and work through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. Let's explore two common methods for reading lines from a file in Bash. First, we have the while loop method. In this method, we use IFS to handle white space correctly and read R to prevent backslashes from being interpreted. This is a robust way to read lines. Now, let's look at the second method, which uses cat to pipe the file content into a while loop. While this method works, it's generally less efficient because it creates an extra process with cat. The first method is preferred for performance. For large files, consider using awk or sed for better performance and flexibility. These tools can handle large datasets more efficiently. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The best way to read from a file in Bash is to use the done file method. This approach eliminates the need for the cat command, making it more efficient. There's no better method in Bash for this task, but reducing the number of processes is a definite advantage. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. The best way to write a loop that reads from a file is to use a straightforward method that avoids extra commands. This approach keeps the loop in the current shell, allowing variables modified inside the loop to be accessible outside. Even when using process substitution, the first method is preferred as it eliminates the need for a subshell, ensuring better variable visibility. For more information, check out resources on variable scope and loops and reading files line by line in Bash. I hope that video helped get through to the resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a great one. Cheers.